Also tonight, a police chase ends in a fiery crash, killing two women and seriously injuring two others on I-95 in Emporia. 8 News reporter Sabrina Shutters is live at State Police Headquarters to break down what unfolded last night, Sabrina. Well, Eric Dean Emporia's police chief tells me this was a senseless tragedy that all started when a man was driving recklessly after leading police on a chase. Two women dead in a car up in flames. Emporia Police Chief Ricky Pink saw has been in law enforcement for 32 years. I haven't seen anybody drive in such a, a gross and negligent manner as Mr. Bernard did. Police tell us they pulled Jermaine Bernard over Tuesday night after they clocked him going 90, which was 20 miles over the speed limit. We're told that's when he sped away from Detective R.C. Williams, eventually getting back on I-95 North going the wrong way. At that point, Detective Williams lost him as police say he turned off his lights and drove dangerously through traffic. Detective Williams had to turn around and that's where that loss came in at. He was able to see taillights, but then he would lose them again. When the detective caught up to Bernard, he saw the crash. The BMW Bernard was driving and collided with another vehicle. That crash not only killed a passenger in the BMW, but also a passenger in the other car. And Mr. Bernard made choices last night that took the life of two uh, individuals. Chief Pingsall says his detective is trying to cope after what happened. He's very, uh, shaken up last night at the scene of the accident, as well as when he was brought back to the police station. Now, Detective Williams is on administrative leave, which is protocol. Now, Chief Pingsall tells me that charges are pending for Bernard. One of those victims has been identified as 36 year old Melissa Dorsett, and she was in the vehicle that Bernard hit. For now, live in Chesterfield, Sabrina Shutters, 8 News.